Yo, so I want to do something new for the channel, right? I don't know if y'all seen Abby Mains and Infernatsu's uh, top five Roblox games. And I'm like, you know what, bro? I want to do upcoming Roblox games for this channel, right? So before we get into the video, right? Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. The games that you see on the screen may be different from what you guys are normal to, or you just not, may not be interested in it, right? So again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And if you have any games that I don't even know about, feel free to post them in the comment section. And also don't bash anybody because, you know, again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But anyway, I had to get that out the way. Also, happy New Year's Eve, man. Tomorrow is about to be January 1st of 2020, bro. This is the last day of the decade. But yo, bro, y'all stay safe. Y'all going out tonight. And I'll see y'all in the video. So for number one, right, and this doesn't mean this is my favorite one out of the list. I'm just going on the top of my head. So again, for number one, Oni Kiri, bro. You guys know I had to say it, bro. Oni Kiri. For the last, like, the last week I've been uploading a lot of uh, videos on this game and it, I just fell in love with it, bro. My first ever Demon Slayer game and I just fell in love with it. The combat, bro. The combat right now was good. good and the game is actually being reworked so things can change, but... To me, the combat was good. I actually liked it. The fact that there was different uh, breathing styles. You can learn thunder, fire, water, and wind. Yeah, wind, I believe. I didn't use wind, but those are the four breathing styles in the game in the, the current state that we played in the beta or alpha, whatever it was. And it was just so amazing, bro. I, I, I loved it. Um, the graphics were amazing. The fact that there, were, there was hitting areas for you to find, like for the demon, there was like a demon section where you had to talk to us this dude to get something i forgot what it was i never became a demon but it was still lit the fact that if you wanted to change your breathing style you had to jump all the way on this top of the mountain and go to the demon hq that was lit too also if you guys don't know the game's actually being reworked so this the stuff that we we saw in the beta may be different like there might be in different areas the the breathing style teachers the trainers might be in different areas i don't know yet but only only carry is probably going to be one of my favorite Demon Slayer games right now when it comes out. I just, just so excited. I'm going to be pumped for it when it releases. So when the game comes out, right, it's going to be like a beta sta stage or a pre-test or whatever you want to call it. It's going to be 400 Robux. And that's kind of worrying because I can pay it. I can see why they made it 400 Robux, but I can see other people bashing the game, disliking it, like giving false dislikes. Well, actually, no, can you, you can't really do that. You have to play the game first, right? But I still can see people bashing the game just because it's 400 Robux. And I just I just hope that the community doesn't die for the game just because of the price. But then when the game actually releases, it, it's going to be like 100 to 200 Robux. And again, things can change. They might decide to, you know what, we don't want to do 400. It can change, right? So that's my number one Oni carry, And I just can't wait. We're going to be uploading content on the channel for that game. And yeah. So the second one on the list is World of Magic, bro. And yo, I wasn't able to get footage of this uh, game because I came back at the wrong time of making YouTube videos. And so I'm gonna be using the your creator's uh, footage and I'm gonna be linking him in the, in the description. So World of Magic, bro. Oh my God, bro, this game is gonna be lit. The fact that like you can make your own guild is amazing. I think that's an amazing idea. And the second thing that made me like hype for the game is that there's so much customization, bro, for your character. There's like different abilities, different magic that you can use. And the fact that you can change the color for some of them was like mind blowing, bro. I know that's like so simple, but I just think that's pretty cool that you can change the color, right? So World of Magic, right? World of Magic, recently the creator just like launched something on his Twitter. Like he posted something on his Twitter and saying that there's going to be like a prison system. So if you, you know, commit like bad crimes and stuff you go to jail and i don't know how long it's going to be i don't know if it's going to be like in real lifetime or in game time hopefully it's in game time because i'd be crazy if that's in real lifetime but only not only that bro you you will get executed depending on what your crime was and how bad it was you can get executed in the game bro that right there is crazy and i wonder if you get executed like will you is that or is your character like done do you have to start over bro <laughs> that's gonna be crazy and not only that too right the npcs the npcs can actually attack you so i don't know if you guys played black desert online it's similar to that like if you had negative karma you get attacked attacked by the uh, npcs and they just kill you every time you come to the town 
So that basically happens in World of Magic, bro. And this guy, the creator, I forgot his name, forgive me. He's going all out on this game, bro. That the fact that you can have like when you cast your own magic, you can do it different anima animations. You can make your own magic as well. So I don't know if it's gonna be different. I didn't really play with that as much because, like I said, I played at played it at the last minute, like the last hour before he closed it. But from what I saw from it, you can make your own magic and you can change how you cast it. So that alone, bro, is gonna be lit. I will definitely be posting content for this game. I might have my own guild. We will see. But yeah, that's number two on my list. All right, so for the third one is Row Hollow. Row Hollow is, is a Bleach game and it's being made by Sensei Chunky. He's a YouTuber. And I personally, I haven't seen any gameplay footage. I've only seen like the map and the customization, like the weapons and stuff like that. But I haven't seen any combat or anything. But I will be linking uh, his description, his channel of him showing the map in the description and the map looks cool it looks big it looks huge and the design of it looks cool and this is this video that you're gonna see is actually i think it was made like earlier this month so things will change i'm positive it will so with that being said i will be posting like pictures of the bankai that he posted in the discord the swords there's like so many swords that he posted and it looks pretty cool um i've seen the hollow pictures look pretty uh nice um i haven't i haven't seen any hollow transformations like for the on car the vastos and all that but so far it looks um pretty cool and i'm kind of i'm really hyped for this game i'm not gonna say kind of I'm, I'm actually kind of hyped for this game i said kind of again i'm hyped for this game and the game will be releasing uh tomorrow january the first it could change i'm not sure but the plant the, the launch date for the the alpha is january the first and with the alpha being out there you can only play as the soul reapers and then when the beta actually launches you can play as Soul Reapers and the Hollow Races. I'm not sure if there's going to be paid access. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully there isn't. If there is, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a big fee. But with that being said, this is the third one on my list. Shout out to uh, Sensei Chunky. I know he's put time into this game. And I be, I'm looking forward to playing this game. And hopefully, you know, I'll see y'all there. So the last one, but not the least, man, is Dragon Ball Online Generations. Bro, this game... Yo, this game has been, it's been, it released, I, I want to say in late October, maybe, or was it September? I forgot, but it released around, around there, and yo, when it came out, bro, this game was lit, like, this game was lit, and you can, you can say, like, well, Monsters, this game, technically, it released already, yada, 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 yeah, you're, you're right, it did, but apparently there was some bugs, glitches, or whatnot, and he had to, you know, take it down. And I think this game will be this game will be coming. I would I want to say early 2020. Hopefully, man, I have my fingers crossed. But this game, bro, yo, I honestly feel like this game has the potential to fight against Dragon Ball Z Final Stand, bro. It also has the uh, the potential to dethrone Dragon Ball Z Final Stand, bro. The game, the oh my god. I, I didn't play the game. I didn't. I mean, I did play the game. I didn't record gameplay of when I was playing the uh, game. But I would be using uh, Sony's, uh, you know, his gameplay footage. I'll link his channel in the description. But the game, the PvP of this game is so good, bro. If you played Xenoverse, then you you are gonna like this game. Like, if if you like Xenoverse, you're gonna like Dragon Ball Online Generations. The PvP is amazing. The customization is amazing. You can customize your own aura, bro. Like for my Saiyan, I had like a red aura, and I made my my, my Saiyan. You know, I made him black, man. You know what I'm saying, black Saiyan. And bro, I the customization was just so good. You can beat other races. You you obviously the the my favorite race honestly is going to be the demon race or the Janimba uh, race. I forgot what's called. I think it's the demon race. I forgot. But that's gonna be my favorite race. But you know, we gotta have a Saiyan to show the cool cut cool transformations stuff like that and it's just bro this game i think this game is going to be it bro for dragon ball games i think it's going to be it the game was big the graphics were good it was easy to understand what to do what not to do um yes there were glitches but the game was still good and that was just the saiyan saga so imagine when he drops the other sagas of dragon ball z and he is working on the other, uh, other sagas i think he's working on the dynamic arc the dynamic saga so just imagine, bro, like how big the game was for the Saiyan Saga 
and just imagine the Namek saga, the Boo saga, the Dragon Ball Super saga, if he's going to even add that. Or he, maybe my might add GT. Who knows, bro? Just, just, just imagine that, bro. Like, this game is going to be sick. And I'm so excited for this game. This this game, I honestly think that this game is going to blow up my channel. And I'm just, just so excited. I'm just so excited for it, bro. But that's it for, you know, for the upcoming games that I'm excited for for 2020. Uh, if Again, if you guys have any other games that you're excited for that I didn't mention, please let me know. I'm down for new games, man. They, they, my content, they, I haven't been uploading that many content in a minute. And the anime games right now, to me, are just kind of dry. And if it is anime games, still can uh, recommend me. You can still DM me or, or whatnot. But yeah, you guys have a wonderful uh, day. Have a good New Year's, man. This is the last day of the decade. You guys stay safe. You know, make sure that you're you're with someone that you trust. Uh, if you're of age, you know, don't have too many drinks. And y'all stay safe. Um, I love y'all. Have a good New Year's. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.